Without water, you'll die in three days, making it more important than food, electricity, or medicine in a crisis. And yet, with a simple DIY, you could harvest over 600 gallons of water a year, more than enough to avoid harm, and slash your bills by $500 on average, even if nothing bad happens. Here's how. Step one is to build your frame. You'll need four 4x4 four four inch, 10 foot long pillars of wood, the first of which should be placed vertically. After which you'll need to position another 4x4 four four and 24 inch long cut of wood next to it at a right angle, 24 inches above the floor. You must then draw two 3 inch screws into your horizontal beam towards the post, about half an inch from the end on both sides, to attach the beam to your vertical pillars. Then repeat this step until all your pillars are connected. To create your second tier, you should then screw four more 24 inch cuts of wood into your frame, 24 inches above your first tier, just like you did before. Repeat this step again to build a third tier above your second, and then one more time for a final fourth layer. Next, you should do a final check of your structure for the spirit level, just to ensure nothing is crooked. Now it's time to reinforce your frame. Here I used galvanized 90 degree right angle brackets to support the structure at each joint, which I've then secured in place with a socket wrench and screws. Step 2 is to build your plumbing. Here you'll need 4 55 gallon barrels, with bunk connectors for your PVC piping to fit into. As a tip, most barrels will feature two 2 inch wide openings, each with a coarse and a fine thread. You'll also want to dry fit your connections first before locking them into place with PVC cement or glue after which you can then add the barrels to your structure. Now it's time to cut your PVC pipes to length. Your first set of pipes will include six small connectors which are slotted into your barrels. These should be three inches in length, two inch in diameter and smoothed down to remove any burrs. After which it's time to link your barrels. To do this simply add T connectors to each of your openings. Then link them together with 35 inch cuts of pipe. It's also recommended to mark your connections for future reference. That way, if you need to rebuild your structure, you'll know where to start. Now secure everything in place with PVC cement. Your next step is to link your remaining tees with pipe, after which, into your highest tee, you should then insert an elbow connector with another piece of pipe, as eventually this will link up to your home scattering. Step 3 is then to build your rain head and flush system. Here you must first attach another 3 inch wide and 7 foot long PVC pipe into your frame, beside your main cylinder with screws, brackets or straps. This pipe will later be linked to your topmost elbow joint with more PVC piping, after which, once your barrels are full, it will act as an overflow to stop your roof scattering from filling up. Next. Locate your home's downspout and remove any connected drain pipe. Now, loosely fix a 7 foot long and 4 inch wide PVC pipe to the center of your frame. At the back, underneath your downspout so that the bottom of the pipe is 18 inches above your drain's outlet. This will act as a drainage chamber so that debris from your roof does not contaminate your water supply. If you add a wiffle ball to this chamber, once it fills, this will also raise the ball. Once the ball reaches the top, it will then block water from entering the chamber and diverts it to your barrels. Note, in this video I originally placed the chamber to the side of my main cylinder, but owing to the risk of it toppling over, I changed my mind. Now it's time to work on the plumbing above your barrels. Here, you'll need to link your overflow, main cylinder and drainage chamber together, like so. Pipes, reducers and connectors, along with the rain head for gathering your water. That links to your guttering. Again, it's best to dry fit these first. That way you can adjust your connections later. After which, your last step is to add a faucet and clean out plug to the bottom of your main cylinder. You can also insert ball valves in these locations to cut off your overflow and drainage chamber if needed. And there you have it, unlimited free water that can save your life in a crisis, and stacks of cash even if nothing bad happens.